Hey guys, welcome back. Sensibility here. Um, so I got my package in from the UK. I was hoping to be able to have you guys watch me open it. But um, when I went to the post office to get it, I had to sign for it. I was getting a really, really good fragrance smell and the box was looking a little wet and I was thinking, oh no. So yes, um, the person that I purchased these from, they had sent me a couple samples and two of the bottles broke. Um, they smelt absolutely amazing. Um, I also got this little beauty in today. Um, it smells really good. I highly recommend it. Actually, my daughter just brought it to me because she jacked me for it. Um, but yes, as you can see, it is an absolutely stunning bottle of perfume. I told her that she needs to hold on to this so I can refill it for her. I'm trying not to spin it around too much. This one is called Emalia. Um, it's a very feminine, um, kind of powdery scenting type uh, perfume, but um, I think these are called Atars. I mean, they have Atar small, but yes, so there it is. Beautiful smelling. I still like my uh, Ball Rain uh, Pearl one, but I think this one's definitely suitable for a young girl, so it was more fitting, but I mean, I can't tell my daughter now. It's such a beautiful bottle, but I can't tell her now, and she liked it. It's not too many things she's very feminine about. So, I got this one in. Um, this is a um, perfume oil, not spray. Obviously, I showed you how the dipstick pulls out. So, I got that. That came from the UK, too. Yay! It was a UK day. So, anyways, I'm going to try and lift this up so you guys can see all these perfumes. Okay, so two of the samples broke. So my box was smelling absolutely amazing. I was just like, the whole way I'm driving home from the post office, I'm like, oh my God, it smells so good. But at the same time, I'm praying, please say it's not my big bottles that broke. Cause you know how the post office is. I think they play football with your packages. So I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna show you all of these perfume scents. Woo, without trying to break them. I have tissues in there because they got a little saturated from those two broken um see here's the little tiny little samples i mean this okay so now i will tell you a little bit of history about this um perfumer he is an 82 year old gentleman um of course my heart goes out just because he's 82 and if you guys don't know um, I am getting a graduate degree in gerontology because I absolutely love aging people. I love the older population. Um, I think they're freaking awesome. So right there, it, I just, it warmed my heart hearing that. Um, he does this as a hobby. Um, because of this business that he runs, um, it has given him a reason and a purpose to get up every day. Um, which often in older age um, when you stop working there's a time period where you enjoy your life not being able to get up to work but then after a while um, a lot of older people start to slip into a depression because they're home all the time and they no longer feel like they have a purpose so it was even more uh, moving for me to hear this um, it is a very, very small business. Him and his daughter, sometimes his daughter helps him package everything. So he's pretty much running this by himself with his daughter's help. Um, this is his hobby. And I'm going to tell you right now, these perfumes are the bomb. Um, I think they're going to even blow away Fragrance Unlimited. Which I don't know because I think their quality is just the same. I just happen to like the pricing on these. Um, I had to wait about 10 to 12 days to get these. Um, it took a while. But I'm going to I'm gonna lift these up and I'm going to show you that one of these bottles, so like this little bottle right here, it's a 6ml. Oh, smells good. I mean the perfume's all over these, so like, and the one that broke, <laughs> the one that broke, 
was uh, he gave me a sample of Killian Good Girl Gone Bad. So now my perfumes smell like Killian Good Girl Gone Bad. And that's how I knew automatically right there that his perfumes were the bomb because you can smell the quality. And then the other one actually had three of them because he sent me an Arabian Oud, which I was dying to smell. And I kind of did smell Oud in the package, but when I actually got the Oud out, it was in like a little vial bag like this. These, if you look at them, he even sent me little glass tip things which um, helps make the perfume like this guy thought of everything it was in this tiny little box he was so sweet you know this costs him money to do this and he put little perfume samples in there this is probably three ml's at the most oh my god it smells good but I was so disappointed that the Arabian Oud and I could care less about the Killian Good Girl Gone Bad. I just don't think I'm a big fan of Killian's perfume. And there was one more that broke, and that's why these are sitting in tissue because it got all over them. It actually broke through the little baggie. I'm like, wow, they were like playing football. So, yes, um, I'm going to put all the information to these bottles, to where I bought them at, um, down in the description box because you guys have got to... You just have to go there and order some of these. Um, they're freaking amazing. But like I said, one little bottle of this can make you anywhere from a 2 to 3.4 ounce bottle of perfume. Um, I will, I, I do have to get out and get me some, the appropriate alcohol for it. It has to be a certain level of alcohol. You can't use rubbing alcohol. You can't use vodka. You can't, the alcohol percentage has to be at a certain level. And the only alcohol that you can truly buy in a liquor store that you could use for this is Everclear. Because we all know Everclear is like the strongest freaking alcohol that they sell in the liquor store. So um, I'm going to go and pick me up some of that. So what happens is this gets dumped into your bottle. And then you fill your bottle almost up to the top um, with the with the rubbing oh, with the rubbing with the either the perfumers alcohol if you can get some of that or the um, Everclear either one will work but it needs to be a very strong grain alcohol 180 proof some strong stuff. And then you add just a little bit of water and a little bit of glycerin in there. And that's where, you know. And like I said, I will go over all this when I'm ready to show you guys how to combine them. Because I'm going to find my favorite one out of here and I'm going to make a special bottle for it. God, I just, I got perfume all over me. But look how cute the little bottles are. Okay, so I'm going to go over which ones are which. This is, um... Jergoff Gaio. I wish this thing would like show the writing, but some of the labels are just so saturated. Ooh, oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Mmm. Okay, let's. It's really hard to open it. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ooh, they're in really good bottles too. So let me just kind of pop it off like that. And we give it a smell. Mmm, that one smells good. And when I mean, these are super concentrated, so, like, I'll be smelling good for like the next five days. Because I'm pretty sure this is like soaking into my pores. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go over which ones I got today because there is so many here. I'm going to have to do separate videos where I do sniff test of these. Um, so, okay, we'll save that one for later. Oh, oh that's that, that's that Arabic oud. Oh, mm, that smells very animalic. Oh, oh, not that one. Victoria, you want to come smell it? <laughs> um, so, 
I would highly recommend if you're checking out oud, do not get Arabic oud. Um, like I said, I did my research. Um, I think the only one that honestly I will like, definitely not that one. It's too animalic. It's too skanky. It sounds like a prostitute on a bottle. Ugh. Yeah. Is the Cambodia oud, which you can get that. It's not a big deal. Um, it is a sweet smelling. Okay, so. Let me see if I can find. Because I had a lot of the homage ones I bought. Okay, this one's called Roja Scandal. Mm, let me see if I can get it up there so you guys can see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was online looking today at how much. Oh, that smells. Oh, that smells good. Why are you feeding the dog lettuce? It's good. It's a brand new head of lettuce. It's fine. Okay, another one that I got is Armani Privy Ombre Orient. These are kind of still kind of wet from where the stuff leaked, but it's trying to pull the labels off, so that's why I had to kind of... Sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, so I got that one. I got another one by uh, Roja. It's called Indu, Indu, Duo. Some of them. I see. I smell it all on the outside of them. They, they have that Arabic oud and um, yeah. But you know, I really wish it hadn't broke because <laughs> it probably was a beautiful oud, but. It being a pure oud, it's it's literally about knocking you on your butt, because I've never smelt perfume so concentrated. Um, if you if I was hoping to get some of it where I could just put a couple drops into the perfumes that I make, but unfortunately, there was no saving it. So now my bathroom trash can smells like oud. The next one I got was Armani Priv uh, Rose de Arby. So, yeah. I got every one of his homages he had. Um, and I've already made a list. Um, which is like an even bigger order than this. Um, I will probably end up buying every scent this man has. Because they are that good. Um, these can be stored. I gotta go and get me one. And that's where I'm gonna store it at. Uh, you know how they have those like diagonal type uh, clear lipstick holders? You can just put your little perfumes in there and then just store them somewhere where they're not exposed to a lot of light. Okay, another one that I got was Armani Priv Ombre Essentrio. I mean, he has like some of the best name and he he only does niche and Armani or and. I can't even talk today. He only does niche and Arabic perfumes. He does not do any designer. So there's that one. Um, I said he was my favorite person as far as this whole perfume hunting. I absolutely enjoyed. He would send me messages constantly talking to me. He would correct anything. He was very sweet. I think he was the best person as far as customer service goes working with. And there's no doubt in my mind there will be tons of future purchases from him. I, I probably won't even be purchasing from Fragrance Unlimited. It, these are going to be solely from him. Um, so, yeah. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to purchasing um, Arabic perfumes from him because these smell beautiful. And... Each one of these bottles costs no more than $7. And when you divide up how much it would cost for a bottle of Everclear that's divided up among the perfumes, you're probably at the most spending the most $15, $15 for maybe a perfume that cost. I mean, I seen some Rojas that were almost $3,500 from the sack. And I'm just like, what? And I can make it. For less than 20 bucks uh yeah baby i'm gonna do that so 
let me see if I got all my other ones out. I'm trying to divide the homage ones from, because yes, he even sent me some other homage uh, samples. Um, they're more like the unisex line, um, so I'm like super stoked to get those. The only one that he did not have, and I'm going to see if he can get it for me, is the homage. Um, I've been really wanting it, the sunshine. So I'm going to see if maybe he can do that one for me. I didn't see it on his webpage. And like I said, I will send it all down below. Okay, the next one I got was, and you got to excuse me if I'm pronouncing this stuff wrong. Zergoff uh, more than words so I'm telling you I am gonna have so much fun making bottles and I can these are like my concentrated versions it makes life so much easier I don't have big bottles of perfume sitting around anywhere taking up a lot of space now they are very very concentrated I just pull one out and go okay this is the next beauty I'm gonna make now or even if I don't want to make a bottle, I can just unscrew it. It has a little tip thing in there. Tap, tap. You are done. You, you don't spray this. No. You'll run everybody out of the building because it'll just be that strong. So, um, the next one I got was Lancome Oud Ambrosia. Which is pretty much an Oud Amber. I mean, they're so wet right now, it's kind of hard to even smell what they smell like because they've got them perfumes on it this one definitely has like good girl gone bad or something but I got Chanel Gabrielle so I guess he does have a designer one because he did have Chanel but I think this was the only line he really didn't have too many Oop, let's put that one over there because that one's an homage that one's an homage okay the next one I got was a Jergoff uh, Mamluk. You got, oh, you guys can see that. You see how the labels are kind of wet? That's from the perfume. So, and that's the Amalek. I mean, you can just smell it. It's just, woo. Okay, the next one I got, and I got interested in these ones because I bought that Lancome Oud Bouquet. So, these are more from their private line. La Ultra Oud. And I told you guys I had an addiction to Oud. Just not that animalic Oud. Woo. Okay, the next one I got was a Roja Injima. Um. He forgot the Y in this. God bless his little cell. Um, a Byretto. Uh, yeah, you know, I had to finish trying. The Bibliotheque. Which means the library. Or school. Um, the next one, I got another Lancome. Midnight Rose Elixir de Orient. I know one of the ladies recommended the Midnight Rose. So I figured I would go with this one because it was like a very raspberry one. So this should be even more concentrated than what the, because it's the elixir. So it should be like raspberry on crack. Um, but I got that for um, Miss Betty. Miss Betty um, recommended that perfume and uh, so I got it. Um, the next one I got was Lancome Jasmine Marzipan. I'm probably not going to get much sleep tonight because this is so fragrant. I know my husband's going to come in and he's going to be like, what is that smell? It's not bad because it's like the Arabic oud is mixed with the good girl gone bad. So it's like an oudy good girl gone bad. I mean, it's really feeling like the good girl went bad. <laughs> the next one I got was um, Creed Royal Princess Oud. Um, I got Lancome Magnificat. 
Ma Magnifique. My French is getting bad now that I can't I don't reuse it. Um, I got the Zerkzoff uh, Xanabar. He, I mean, he's got some high-end perfumes, and he's definitely worth trying out. Um, he's really, really sweet. Um, like I said, he, I ended up saving like 50 to 70 bucks. He like cut me a break on shipping. I mean, I, I don't think either one of us was expecting anything, any of these bottles to break. But guess what? All my big bottles that I ordered from him, they didn't break. So the next one I got was Byretto Oud Mortal. Immortal. Um, I got a Lancome Millie A. Un Rose. The next one I got was a Creed Amber. Or Creed White Amber. Let's see. The light is so bright and it's really not that bright in here but for some reason with this camera it does okay and then the last one that I got that's not an homage is the Byretto Rose Noir so I'm gonna go ahead and put these ones back in here so hopefully whatever perfumes on them they can dry their labels can dry because God only knows I do not want these labels to come off. And he has such tiny little labels on there that I just, I need, I need the stuff to dry. And just stay with it. Okay. I'm getting there, guys. Bear with me. Okay, and like I said, he sent me some little glass applicators, which... They're absolutely just too cute. I think you just maybe just grab it and... I don't know. He said something about pulling the thing off and it'll let it do it, so... Then, um, for samples, he gave me, um, Montel Wild Pears. I've never tried any of the Monte Montel... Um, Montel McCollett. So these are kind of a little more of the Arabic style. He gave me the homage a memoir woman, which this is the whole reason I fell in love with homage is this this perfume right here. It's a spicy. Oh, that good girl, that good girl gone bad smells good. Or whatever's on these ones smells really, really good. Um, oh no, as you guys can see, the label's trying to split apart. This is one of the Homage um, Opius. I don't know which one it was. It was one of the Opius. And then another sample that he sent me was the Killian Pearl Oud. Which, you know, he gave me a decent sized sample. And the little bottles are so stinking cute. Like, I'm going to keep these. And I'm going to use them to, like, make my, my own perfume concentrates. Yeah. They'll be like my little tester bottles. Just kind of like he did mine. And we lost the label on this one. So, sadly, I hope I don't fall in love with this one. Because I have no clue what this one is. <laughs> so... Let me put these ones back in here. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, um, yes, it was a lovely day. Um, I was a little agitated because, you know, I got to ring up my doorbell and I'm at work. And I have one of those special little ring doorbells on there where it lets you answer it. And I'm trying to get it to, you know, to, like tell the mailman, hey, just leave it there. But apparently it had to be a signed package, so... I got home and it's kind of late in the evening because I had to wait for the mail carrier to get back and I guess they all got to be back at the post office by 6 o'clock. So to me that's late because usually I go to bed by 7, 8 o'clock because I'm getting up at 2, 3 in the morning to start my day, start on homework, so forth. So it was kind of a bit of a bummer but I got in there and got it. Um, 
sign because I was like, I'm getting my package today. And that's exactly what I did. But anyway, so now we are going to cover the homages. If anybody else is interested in homage and they like homage, for the most part, I bought just about every one of them he, he had as far as his homage. He's only missing about one or two. And I didn't buy the um, homage memoir, uh, memoir woman because I already have it. I bought it from uh, Fragrance Unlimited. So it will be a future purchase from him though. So in other words, any of the fragrances that I bought from Fragrance Unlimited, if I can get them bought from this gentleman, I'm going to do it because they're going to be in smaller bottles. And I'm going to be able to either... If I really, really love it, I can turn it into a spray or I can just dab it. And I'm really liking that option. Um, it's leaving me more room to purchase more perfumes. So, yay! So the first homage that I got was the Jubilation. The next one that I got ooh, was the homage Epic Woman. God, this one's really wet. And it really has that, I'm going to be smelling animally. My dog's going to love me tonight. And the next one I got was the Homage Honor, uh, Honor Woman. Minus the little cotton fuzzy styrofoam thing. Um, the next one I got was the Blossom Love. Uh, homage Journey. Homage de pour femme, which means for a woman. Uh, the Homage Gold. The Homage Interlude Woman. And I just like these little bottles. They're just so cute. Um, homage Ubar. Now I've heard some of the homages, as far as the women one, are quite unique. But, you know. I got the Image Lilac Love, the Image Figment. So that is the ones that I got from him. I am probably going to go back onto Frantica, go down their list, check off the ones that I have because I want to smell the whole line, the whole entire line of Image for women and the unisex ones. Um, just because, I mean, that's what type of effect the homage uh, memoir woman had on me. There was something, it was the one that was like a spicy bakery. It was just like very seductive. Um, just, it just lured, it drawed you in. It had some kind of like, I wouldn't say it had like pheromones in it because you know if anything it was drawing me to it if it does um it wasn't really like making the guys go crazy me about me it was just it reminded me of a very cozy spicy bakery spicy type smell um something we're definitely not used to smelling in western perfumes um arabic perfumes are very uh, they have a lot of emphasis on oriental, woody, spicy type smells, whereas Western perfumes, it's more like floral, sweet, um, I mean, fresh, clean. You're not going to find, you might find some Arabic perfumes that are kind of on the fresh side, but not too many. Um, and I think it's really what you've been um, accustomed to. Um, you know, a lot of our perfumes originated um, or perfumery took off in, like, um, the French culture. So, um, a lot of the scents that we're used to and we're accustomed to would be things that were in their environment. So, you had, like, the roses, the jasmine. I'm sure some of them, they, um, they had them imported in very well, you know, because jasmine's a very popular one that's even used in Arabic perfume so is rose it's just the way that we went about using it based off of our culture um i kind of feel like after smelling arabic perfume that um 
honestly, I could have been born. I should have been born in in a Middle Eastern type environment just based off of their scents. Um, their scents are the type that I guess I've been searching for all my life and I just didn't know. That, you know, um, having this this want for like vanilla, cashmere, you know, chaffron, these particular smells that are more, I consider more on the smoky, um, mysterious type smells. I definitely get that vibe from um, the Arabic perfumes. They're just, I guess they're heavier type smells in comparison to Western perfumes. It's kind of very bright and cheerful. La 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 la. And Arabic is just, it's very mysterious. Um, has this um, sensual, sexual type smell to it. It's just it's phenomenal. So I really, really like their perfume. Um, but I also have my favorites that I like from Western. And I probably always will because it is something that it's part of who I am. It's part of my culture. Um, it was how I was raised. These scents are very familiar to you. It reminds me, explaining perfumes kind of like... Um, like rate, relating it with your mom's food. Um... There's nothing that can top your mom's home cooking. Um, and it doesn't matter if your mom's cooking is bland as possible. It's just, it's that comfort part of it. And Arabic perfume definitely has that comfort scent to it. Um, I will admit, um, definitely after smelling the Arabic oud, that it's very skanky, as they call it. <laughs> Which is kind of funny to me, but it, it does. It's... Civet, if you like Civet, you're definitely going to like um, the Arabic Oud that he let me, he sent me. Um, and it could be that it's still wet, so it's like highly concentrated. Because when I smelt it on the box, it was a very, very beautiful smell. And my Oud Silk Mood kind of had that vibe going, but when it dried down after 15 minutes, it was, it was like heaven. I, I simply couldn't get enough of that Oud. So, I have a feeling this one might have that type of effect. But, like I said, it's super concentrated. Overall, I think I spent about $170 on all this. But, I have a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 30, one, two, three. I have 33 bottles of perfumes that I can make. And when I say in between 2 to 3.4, it's really going to depend on your concentration. How strong do you want it? Um, that brings me back to this paper that, where is it at? I think I put it in my binder. I have this binder back over in here now that I've been doing that has my perfume stuff in it but there was in one of my videos i talked about how i did the concentrations like the formulations and stuff and there's different levels depending on how strong you you want it you can um possibly you might be able to get two bottles of perfume out of this if you i can't make any promises because i'd have to really sit down and measure it out but i know each one of these is a six ml and it's really going to depend on your bottle size. So um, if you have a two ounce bottle and you want to make parfum, not eau de parfum, it would, you just dump, it, it, just dumping this in there, it would, it, about 50%, it would be pretty strong. So it's really going to be based off how you dilute it and where you want it at. So um, if you want it much stronger, you would probably be leaning more towards two ounces. If you're willing to kind of dilute it down a little bit more and maybe put it on the border of an eau de parfum inching towards an eau de toilette, um, you would probably get the 3.4, which is probably where I'm going to sit at because these are super strong. Um, um, they're like super power little perfumes. <laughs> Um, these are definitely my little babies, and I don't want to share. <laughs> but in the next video, I'm going to, hopefully these will be dry, the bottles and stuff will, and I will go through it over three videos and um, describe each one of the scents to you and just tell you 
that way um, you know maybe if you want to purchase from this gentleman like I said it takes about 10 to 12 days um, to get it he's a very fair reasonable gentleman um, he just wants people to love perfume just as much as he does and if you're watching my video that means you love perfume and um, obviously I love perfume and I am willing to search high and low to find high quality perfume and um, I have definitely found it with this gentleman I, I mean I just I couldn't be any happier um, having these little babies right here and I know Thursday's payday so mama's gonna be ordering her some more I'll wait the 12 days for this because these are amazing um, I kind of feel bad now spending almost $700 with Fragrance Unlimited because for $700 I'd own every one of the bottles in that man's store. Um, not only that, um, a lot of older people, especially in his age, they have to find things to supplement their income because, um, you know, as we age and we get to that age, we're going to be in that same predicament. And it's very important that the people of the younger generation support the people of the older age because they're the ones that are the most vulnerable. Um, sadly, uh, when I volunteered at a community center, um, I thought it was odd that they had a food pantry there. And I quickly learned that people of the aging population, not only are they the ones with the highest medical expenses, they're the ones that have to live off of a budget by the Social Security office. They spend 25% um, of that Social Security check automatically goes towards just their health insurance, the supplement parts of it. Because um, what they don't tell you is Medicare Part A and Part B doesn't cover certain things. So you need to get supplement for that to cover what they don't cover. Then you have Part C which covers, you know, um, fees like co-pays, things like that. Then you have to get another one, which is Part D, which covers your prescriptions. And even then, it's still expensive. Um, so yeah, they're the ones that, um, even though you think, oh, they're getting an income every month, unfortunately, between paying for their health insurance, the supplement uh, fees that they have to pay every month, their prescriptions, their utilities, and so forth, a lot of them don't have enough money to even put food on their table. And um, I'm, I know it's sad, but there has been time that older people will rummage through trash cans to get food because they're too terrified to pick and choose between their medication and food. They feel that if they don't get their medications, they will die. So, um, that is why this community center had a food pantry and it, sta it stays well stocked. So, um, I just didn't realize how, how bad the crisis was. So, when I heard this gentleman was 82 years old and um, not only did this give him a reason to get up, which prevents him from developing depression in older age, because a lot of times when you develop depression in those older years, um, a lot of times they pass away from it because it becomes such a severe depression or even the side effects of the medications um, get to be too much for them. Um, and they withdraw from it and then they go right back into the depression. So um, that was um, one of the things that kind of made me feel better about um, purchasing even before I knew the quality I just kind of felt okay this gentleman's 82 years old a lot of times by that age they know what they're doing they've been living life for quite some time um, they're not about trying to rip people off they're probably the most honest people and a lot of people in their older ages um, a lot of their businesses are very successful because they don't make the risky mistakes that younger people make. They have done, been there and done that. So I was quite happy to order from this gentleman because um, I could very well be putting food on his table or helping him pay for a, a prescription that he needs every month. 
and he is providing something to me. He is providing me a high quality perfume at the fraction of the cost of what it would cost for me to go out and buy it from the actual manufacturer. So I feel it is a win-win situation all the way around. Um, it's a nice little circle where I am able to help him and he is able to help me and that we are linked by a passion that we both have. Um, and I mean, it, it was really sweet, the email that he sent me, you know, um, being 82 years old, you have to, you know, he's created a website, he's had to learn to put all this up there. Um, you know, he's obviously being 82, didn't grow up in the era with um, a bunch of technology. Um, even my children are much more advanced than I am when it comes to technology. So, um, I mean, to be able to sit down and learn all of this stuff, it, has, I, it truly has to be an amazing journey for him and an accomplishment. Um, it's quite fascinating to me, too, to think that here this gentleman um, probably didn't at one time, barely knew how to navigate a computer, has learned to do all these things. And that's what he talked about in his email is this journey that he's been on um, with when he started this all, you know, not only has it given him a drive to get up every day, because it's more than just making perfume, putting it in a bottle. You have to advertise it. You have to log everything. You have to keep track of everything. All of that requires you getting online and keeping some kind of system that he's had to learn to do. And I'm sure it probably keeps him really busy. But, um, oh, I'm trying to think of what, I, let me open my email so I can tell you guys what company it was that I ordered this from because it's just like the gentleman's name is I think like Abu um, very sweet gentleman um, and he even let me do it okay and what's really cool is um, so he sent me an invoice um, and um, I didn't have to once give him any of my credit card information or anything like that. He has it even set up where I can pay for it through PayPal. So if something came in and all of these were broken, PayPal would refund me back. So it's kind of like it's securing my purchase. So I really liked that, that he did that type of option because there has been many times I've bought stuff off of eBay and I'm like what the heck and because I paid for it through PayPal I got my money back and you know within 24 to 48 hours and they dealt with the problem with the with the with the seller which is like a great relief so not only you don't have to worry about that because you're purchasing this from overseas they take care of all that for you so he makes it very secure and um, an easy transaction for you it, it was just it, it was amazing all the way around but um i ordered this from da, 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 da. Uh, it came by royal mail which was really cool it did really have a little stamp on there of uh queen elizabeth when she was young um it was an absolutely beautiful side profile of her um yeah so it was neat to have something like that you know like i said this came from the UK, and I don't think it had a pretty little stamp on there like the one for his. I want to say it's the Perfume Oil Shop is where I ordered this from. And like I said, I will put the link down below. I don't want to keep rambling on, um, but if you are interested, I'm going to put everything down below. If you have any questions about how I went about doing this, please contact me because... Um, he is like awesome he will you know when you click on his thing he has these deals where it's like get so many for this um, you actually have to go in and just put it in your cart and then send it to him and he will readjust the the um, he will see what you have and get it down like it's like six of them for some price or whatever or however he does the deal maybe like six mls three times six mls for like 15 bucks or something or however he does the deal and he will combine it manually and then he will send you an invoice and some of these you know some of these bottles were like eight dollars and he dropped them down in that he didn't have to do that 
but he did. So he manually went in there and created these little groupings for me um, and knocked a lot of them down in price for me. And um, yeah, I'm just, I would just like tickle pink. I know I'm like rambling on, but um, this is like hitting gold. It, it's, it's just as good as the Jenny Glow perfumes. I mean, I couldn't be any excited to sit here and say that I have perfume quality that's probably worth thousands of dollars sitting right here that um, I, I personally I don't think I would have invested that kind of money in it I, I don't know it's hard for me to even sit there and think about dishing out thirty five hundred dollars for a bottle of perfume I just I can't phantom doing that um, I am not that wealthy um, if someone wanted to give me that bottle, I'd be tickled pink. And let me tell you, I would, I would cherish that bottle like forever. I'd probably take that sucker to the grave with me. But, um, this is definitely, definitely a high quality, affordable option for people that if you roll up your sleeves and you just put a little bit of effort into it, you will have some absolutely amazing perfumes that you can cherish. It's just not going to look like the way the manufacturer does it. Well, that is the perfumes that I ordered from the UK um, perfumer. Um, I look forward to the next video with you guys where I go over in sections the, um, what they smell like and let you guys know from the groupings which ones I really, really like and maybe which ones, you know... Um, I like but I don't see myself rebuying that way it can kind of help you um, pick and choose maybe on his website like I said where the price is at them um, because they are so affordable um, you can kind of pick and choose extra ones that you know you want to test out like hmm, let me try this out because of the cost it's not going to hurt the bank too bad if you don't like it um, just be warned that um, if he puts any samples in there, um, the post office may play football with your package. So it may be, it may come smelling very aromatic like mine did, and you may have the same dilemma I did, but don't fear. It was just the little samples, not the big bottles. So it's been awesome um, ranting on about these. Um, I look forward to the next video. Um, it's time for me to go eat because um, I am absolutely starving. Um, so you guys have an awesome night and thanks for watching. Bye guys.